Uh, welcome to Build. I'm your host, Ricky Kemler. Our next guest is one of the stars of the new Gerard Butler thriller, Hunter Killer. Zane Holt stars as a member of an elite special forces team that gets sent behind enemy lines in a daring rescue mission. Let's take a look. Everybody, please welcome Zane Holtz. Hey, man. Hey. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, congratulations on a great movie. Thank you. Really great thriller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to see it actually for the first time last night, um, fully on the big screen and, and fully finished, and I was happily surprised, like super impressed. I, it's, uh, it's just like an old school, fun action thriller. Yeah, absolutely, and I would I, I would also mention there's a sense of relief when you see it when you're seeing it because this movie is comprised of three parts, two Correct. of which you have nothing to do with. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the whole cast was kind of separate. You've got um, Common and Gary Oldman and Linda Cardellini. They're they're stateside, kind of running things from the war room, and then Jerry and the rest of his crew are on a submarine, and then the SEALs are doing our whole thing. We weren't even in the same country. We we shot in Bulgaria. Everything else was shot in the UK. So our unit was a completely different situation. And uh, how long were you in Bulgaria shooting? About six weeks. So we went. We showed up about a week early and did like a boot camp training kind of situation, and just to get get comfortable playing playing these parts. And then I think it was about five weeks of photography. What does the boot camp type situation consist of? It's. It's a lot of weapon handling. The physical fitness was kind of something that we had to do on our own. But it was mostly getting used to moving in like a four-man sort of team, how to cover each other, how to, how to retreat under fire. We did a lot of firing blanks, no live ammunition, obviously, but um, using the actual rifles and, and sidearms that we'd be using in the film, uh, reloading them, figuring out if you, if you have a jam, how to clear your rifle and just being comfortable so that on the day you look legit you know you have like uh handlers or do you have like consultants there's there a military clear? advisor yeah. yeah wow a guy named woody what was he what was woody like he was amazing is uh, what you'd expect a guy named woody who's a military advisor right i mean he super cool had a lot of real practical experience and he was having us do stuff like uh, we, we were kind of playing hide and seek in the woods with the with the rifles, trying to figure out, like as if you were actually in a enemy territory, trying to keep yourself concealed, but also find out where the enemy is. Like kind of fun, fun stuff. Now, do you have to like you said that you have to do your uh, the physical fitness aspect on your own before? Yeah. What is that like? You know, just make sure you show up how, in good shape. Well, Donovan Marsh is the director, and that was one of the things he wanted us to show up athletic, mm -hmm. like being able to actually run, being able to run upstairs, do that, do all that sort of stuff. And I, I try and do that on my own, anyways. Um, one of the things that I did, I was a swimmer in high school and playing a Navy SEAL. I thought that was important, so I got back into swimming. Even though I'm the only one out of the four SEALs who doesn't get in the water. Sure. <laughs> I was I was in the pool every day, um, just just swimming and and you know staying fit. Yeah. And what is it like? Uh, what is Bulgaria like when you're not shooting? You know what? Um, when I first got there, I didn't really know what to think, and it's it's interesting. It really grew on me, and part of the reason for that was Jerry came and he was with us the whole time. Really? You've seen the film. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of scenes with Jerry, but he was there in a He's producing a capacity. Film, yeah. yeah, so our working relationship was very unique because he was there behind the camera. And we spent a lot of time on our on our days off. Uh, he got us into renting bikes and, and seeing Sophia on bike, which really kind of gave a better vibe for the city. And, and Sophia, Bur Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yeah. yeah. So we were in Sophia to start, and then we went to a another city called Varna, which is a little more coastal, which is where all the, you'll see in the film, when we pull up to the, the Russian harbor, Polyarni, that's, that's Varna. That's got to be what, it, I think that's got to be the coolest part about being an actor that you never imagine is going to be the coolest part or you don't even think about when you become an actor is that at some point you're going to have weekends to bike tour Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah. W what other situation would that happen? Other than a vacation. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it, it wouldn't even necessarily be a place that's on a lot of people's radar, but it, it is a surprise, like very beautiful, fun little country. So I would, I would be eager to, to go back and shoot something else there. 
what was the toughest part about shooting this? There's a lot of rolling around in the woods, running around the woods, falling down. Yeah, I mean, you've seen the bit. I've got kind of a lone survivor-esque scene at the end where I'm, I'm kind of uh, tumbling down, tumbling down, down this hill, hill and throwing myself over rocks. And there was a there was a minute there where I thought I could probably break my ankle here pretty easily, but you know, it didn't happen, and we just we just went for it. It was a stunt guy, a stunt guy as well, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen the films, so you know specifically. There's one tumble that would probably end somebody and that was that was a stunt double he was on a uh he was on a a wire and kind of did the fall but was let down in a way that wasn't gonna ruin you, his career are you the type of guy that's like i want to do the stunt yeah uh, really yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i mean I, I i started um doing that i did this show called from dust till dawn yeah and we had a lot of physical stunts and shootouts and stuff on there and i've been doing um martial arts since I was a kid. So I'm always eager to, to get in there and do whatever. What kind of martial arts? I'm a uh, jiu-jitsu. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I'm eager to get in there and do as much as they'll allow. And it's funny because in, in certain countries, the, the the rules are a little different, and they'll, they'll let you get away with a little more than they might in the States. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in bulk area, you could get away with a little yeah, more? Yeah, a little more, a little more. The, let, the, the, you know, let the actors have a little more fun. How long have you been doing jiu-jitsu? Uh, 15 years. 15 years. Jiu-jitsu, yeah. forgive my Brazilian lack of knowledge. Jiu-jitsu. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So it's a lot of grappling, right? It's it flips and exclusively grappling. Exclusively yeah. grappling. I've heard it's like I've heard it's really addictive. Yes. Why why is that? Uh, I think it's the mental aspect as well as the physical aspect. They call it uh, you know, human chess. You're kind of always anticipating the next guy's move and setting up your defense and trying to figure out an offense and then a, a second offense and a third offense, depending on what your defense is. It's very, it's very tactical. What made you get into that? Uh, well, I, I had been doing other martial arts since I was a kid. I didn't play traditional sports. My mom put me in martial arts and I was a swimmer, you know, things that she thought were going to be practical for life, I guess. Right. And, um, and they're also the kind of, it's a good, it's a, it's good work on your mom's part because they're not the kind of sports that the kid gets involved with and says, I'm going to become a professional. For sure. I'm going to be a professional swimmer. Right. They do it because they like staying fit and enjoy the practice. That and like, you know, in the summer, you're probably, if you fall off a boat, you're probably going to be okay. And then maybe if somebody can get in a street fight or something, you'll probably be okay too. So she did a good, she did a good uh, job pushing me in that direction. It's the ability to swim and kick ass. (laughs) That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe you'll be able to use those things and play a Navy SEAL in a film with Gerard Butler one day. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So I just kind of carried through and then found jujitsu in high school and have stuck with it. When did you decide to be an actor? Um, I did some stuff when I was a kid. I, I'm, I die in the beginning of holes. It was one of my first jobs. I was about 13 years old. And then I would kind of pick it up and go away and just... You know, I went to regular high school and just was a, you know, lived a regular kid life. And then I got back in at about 20. I decided to go back to theater school. I went to the Lee Strasberg School in in L.A. and then got an agent. And I've kind of been steadily working since. Some stuff that people have seen, some stuff that people haven't seen. And then You said, like, From Dust Till Dawn? The, yeah, the, yeah. The Dust Till Dawn was, was, a, was a pretty big one. Um, and in that you were... I was actually here on Build with some of the cast members in 2015. I did not do that interview. You didn't. You didn't. Did not do that. And it wasn't at this location. It was at the, the old the location. The previous studio, yeah. 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 Uh, in, in From Dust Till Dawn, you play kind of one of the uh, one of the hitmen or one of the, one That's of the, right. the bad I, guys that gets wrapped up y- and everything, right? Yeah, it's based on the film, and I play the part that Quentin Tarantino played in the film. So it's two brothers. It's me and DJ Catrona, and we're the Gecko brothers, and we're kind of, you know, uh, criminal bank robbers on the run and run into some vampires, and then the show takes a supernatural kind of angle just like the movie just like the movie yeah uh what was it like working with robert rodriguez amazing amazing he's um that whole process of getting that job was very interesting um he, we did this show for a, a network called el rey and he's the head of the network as well as the kind of chief content creator so me getting that job was just auditioning for robert and him signing off on me, and then There's next no thing you know, no room of executives also. No, yeah. he's he's the whole thing. So next thing you know, I'm moving to Austin, 
and shooting in Austin. And I, I still actually have decided Did to stay there. Did you fall in love with Austin? Yeah, I love it, yeah. Everybody does, right? Yeah, I've been there about five years now. What is it about Austin that you that you fell for? I don't, I mean, it has all the sort of like <laughs> lifestyle, cultural things that a big city like New York or L.A. has, but it has a different, just kind of smaller town vibe. Yeah. And it feels, it's fun and... It's got a little bit of Texas in it. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your audition like for Hunter Killer? <laughs> Funny enough, back to uh, Dust Till Dawn, my co-star Jesse Garcia put me on tape for Hunter Killer while we were shooting at a prison in New Mexico for Dust Till Dawn. And we sent it in. I, didn't, I never saw the director Donovan in person. I met Donovan for the first time through Skype and for the second time in London on set. Yeah, pretty crazy. It's um, just one of those weird, like, new technological advances that the the process of getting work is has changed. Now, I'm curious, when you went back to theater school at 20, what kind of work did you anticipate you would I, be doing? I always wonder about that one, because you're doing theater school, and then all of a sudden you're in from Dust Till Dawn, and you're a Navy yeah, SEAL. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of these kind of physical roles, but you still have to know how to act, you know? Like, the the... The physical stuff is another element, but I still wanted to have a traditional theater schooling so that if, you know, I do do the odd drama, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, like you said, these roles still require a fair amount of the odd drama. For sure, for sure. I mean, you, the clip that you played, that's a that's just a dramatic scene. There's mm-hmm. nothing in there. It's just a, a two guys and four guys. Um, you've seen the film. The main sort of emotional relationship for me is... Uh, proving my worth to the team. I'm the youngest member. I'm the newest member. I'm actually, um, I think it was in the original script. I, I'm actually replacing their fourth team member that they lost on a previous mission. So I'm new to the team. I have to, I have to show them that I deserve to be there. And you'll see in the film, I start out screwing up pretty badly and I'm almost a, uh, a detriment to the team. But luckily I kind of the arc completes and I become I become uh, an important part of the team by the end. What was it like sort of creating that team dynamic with those guys? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, just the the nature of shooting in a foreign country with nobody that you know around you. We had no choice really but to all hang out together all the for time. Better or worse. For better or for I mean, we became we became great friends. But, you know, we're saying you're on set all day shooting, but then you're having breakfast together, and then you're going to the gym together at night, and then on the weekends you're bike riding around Sophia. So we spent so much time that that sort of natural chemistry and that natural friendship I think really does play on screen. You going to the gym together at night, does the studio, like, provide you with, like, a gym and a trainer and stuff to well, make sure that you... we stayed in this hotel in Bulgaria that they put... So they... <laughs> Millennium, who's produced the film Lionsgate is is releasing it they they've shot a lot of their films and they put a lot of their actors up at this particular hotel so I don't know if it was for expendables or what but there is a state-of-the-art gym in the basement of this hotel I love the idea that it's for the expendables that sly was like gotta get this out built up here really in in the gym there's pictures of Stallone and Arnold and Statham and all these guys that have stayed at the hotel and worked out at the gym. So it's like, you know, the local trainer with, with Stallone. Yeah, it's hilarious. Just waiting for them to come back when I, you guys came back, right? I think like, so, yeah. They like, built this state-of-the-art uh, gym. Who are you? Yeah. It's all dusty because yeah. they haven't shot in Expendables it, in a while. Yeah, it has, it's just everything's creaking. Nothing, nothing's working. <laughs> no, it was actually beautiful. Yeah. Uh, let's get some questions from our audience. Sure. Who has a right here? Hi. Hi. Hey. Um, so you did From Dusk Till Dawn, now you do Hunter Killer. Is mm-hmm. there something specific about like the supernatural that draws you to projects? Uh, I guess I have a scary face. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's just This isn't a supernatural thing. The, the title may be deceiving, but Hunter Killer actually refers to the class of submarine that uh, Gerard Butler is commanding. So this one is not a... Supernatural film, no. But uh, as far as the Dust Till Dawn came along, I mean, that was just a role that I responded to and was lucky enough to get and be able to grow and play for for a number of years. So, Oh, I think one more question right here. Hi. Hi. 
Um, I was wondering what your greatest challenge was working in this film. In this film? Um, you know, I don't want to say it's a, it's, it's a challenge, but it's a, it's a responsibility to take on a role of a Navy SEAL, which is one of the most difficult things in life probably to achieve and have that responsibility to try and play that part and, and portray, you know, these are, these are fictional characters, but based on real guys and to be able to inhabit that character and, and try and do it justice is challenging, but exciting and, you know, something I hope to do again in the future. Uh, Zane, congratulations on the on the movie, man. It's great. Like we said, it opens uh, this Friday, right? Friday. People can go see it. Yeah, they should be in theaters everywhere. Absolutely. Everybody give a big round of applause for Zane Holtz. Let's hear it. Yeah.